Let's just take one last look, see. Well, well. Open sesame. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome to another video with The Domain. Same channel, same guy, different name. And today we're having a look at the Forge Hog versus Banished Goliath. This looks like a beast of a set. Let's check it out. And just like that, we finished. I've built hundreds of warthogs in my time, and this definitely took me longer than any other warthog I've ever built. And that's a good thing. It is a really cool, very robust, and very well-designed build. I was particularly disappointed with quite a lot of missing pieces in this set, but then again, I was building on a table in a garden. I'm sure there's some pieces in the grass somewhere. So first of all, we'll start off with the two figures. I guess that's one big figure, but that doesn't really count. We've got a Halo Wars 2 Marine, and this is really nice. They both actually have these Call of Duty tack pads, which makes for a cool accessory. The Marine is nice. It's got the Spirit of Fire logo printed on its shoulder, which is a beautiful touch. Nice gold visor, and then this excellent camo, and he's got the new SMG, a brand new mold, fantastic. Now I did buy Halo Heroes, Sergeant forge as well. Both of those sergeant forges have the same weird detail, which is their eyes are pierced with a pin. Holes that go all the way through for their eyes. I just think it's so weird. The holes go on forever. It's spooky. But other than that, fantastic. And then he also has the Spirit of Fire logo here. Ace of Spades. Really cool. The Halo legendary insignia printed all these times along his chest. Heresy. Remove this filth. These guys just don't know when to quit. Uh, Spirit Forge, we're gonna need a little backup. Very, very nice figures. And then we'll go straight into the Warthog. This Warthog is exceptional. It's got a little Sentinel here, really cool touch. A nice blue painted decal here. And this actually docks itself. You can use this for something else. I usually like to use these for jump pack brutes. Classic antenna and the fuel packs on the back. This reminds me of the original Halo 4 Warthog, one of my favorites. The wheel is actually pinned in by a little peg like this. These wheels are held together by an elastic piece that clips around the inner frame and adds a great amount of suspension. Silver rods, silver tubes running all the way around it. They've also chose to remove the transparent windshield. It's now tinted, I guess. I am really impressed with this Warthog. It's even got painted decals all along here. Inside, there's so much printed detail. They actually have two different joints here and the legendary emblems that are printed into the sides here. You can see how many pieces are uniquely built, like the windshield, having these etched in markings here. He holds down very nicely. And the Marine fits so nicely inside. Add all these cool gem pieces here and the fact that the cannon can actually fire. Woo! I've lost that forever. Um, well, lucky I have a spare clipped on the side. It's cool when it just looks like it's about to fire so any actual collector doesn't mind. I give this like a 9.5 out of 10. This is great. Let's see if I can find that piece. Everybody loves hunters. <laughs> but now we've got a hunter calling the shots, and it's uh, cooking up some pretty interesting fun for Halo Wars 2. Now the bad boy himself, this Goliath, it rings the same bells as the Warthog. It has some fantastic printed pieces. The colors work perfectly. You would have no idea that it was just two simple pieces that when clipped together, gave such life through the edges. The spines are fantastic. You feel like a large amount of these pieces were printed and made just for this set. When you want to position it like this, sort of like slamming down on a vehicle like it would be doing, the ball joint doesn't allow, sort of stops there and it would be better if it was turned on its side. That's like a very minor thing. It is left with a lot of holes hanging around. It would be better if it had the same color pieces to sort of clip on there and discreetly cover up all of those. But the ball joints are very tight and they articulate very well. The worry of the joints falling apart, I don't think you have that. I think it'll really support itself on its own unless it falls apart. But in general, it's not going to. There's a rod that runs all the way through, so it's far better designed. It seems like a very robust set. I think it is a fantastic depiction of the Goliath. 
it's like a, a just a wild primate, uh, you know, running through the enemy lines. It's it's insane. And overall, I am very very impressed with this set. Mega Bloks is going in the right direction. They're doing all the right design choices, and they've listened to a lot of problems that we've had in the past. I think they're really going to hit the nail on the head with Halo Infinite. And yeah, this was another Halo Mega Constructs review with Simon from the Domain. Thank you very much for watching today, and the Goliath is signing off.